Stay legs. Nice. Keisha Shannon knows what it takes to land a floor routine and run a business. She's celebrating one year of fire and ice athletics. We survived our first year. I'm ecstatic. Shannon started with 17 gymnasts. Now they train 60 and 25 children are on the competitive team. If you look at most gymnastics teams out here, there's usually one or two brown girls on the competitive team. We're the complete opposite here. We are 99% brown. She says this is the only black owned gymnastics facility in the city and state. The girls and their families say it means a lot to see a coach and a leader who look like them. It's awesome. We understand. We've been there. You know, I've been in competitions where some girls, um, the coaches complain about their braids or their hair. It's a lot of hair. Well, we have a lot of hair. It's thick. It's curly. It's poofy. And we do, you know, funky hairstyles that works for us. And so it's giving them a space where they feel comfortable. On the vault bars or beam. Woo! We land! Shannon's goal is to lay out a space where the girls feel like they belong. How it feels like a second home. Nine-year-old Zoe Clifton likes to let her personality shine through on the floor, but her favorite is vault. Dad Shannon Clifton says if you can see it, you can achieve it. Examples that look like them, and so we've seen Simone Biles and others with extreme success, so it should be the same in the gym. He played college basketball and now loves watching his daughter compete. See her do things that I could never do. Like I can't do a cartwheel. So but to see her do the things that she can do is, is pretty, pretty amazing. Shannon says it's about diversity and inclusion. And winning competitions come November is icing on the cake. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.